Now, this theorem, as I stated before, the result of uh, uh, Anambi and uh, Das. So, this is a generalization of theorem one because if we put uh, n equals to one, you can see that it will come out to be their result. So, when the degree of extension when f is equal to q, uh, this will imply their result. So, in that sense, also this is a generalization of their result. Okay, so this is the uh, the theorem that I'll give you an uh, out, outline of this, the proof of this result. So we'll talk about some Dirichlet series that will be used here. So let us choose two uh, primitive cusp forms of adelic uh, primitive cusp forms, F and G. They're normalized. With Fourier coefficient CFM, let's call it, and CJM respectively, CG, F and G will be corresponding. Now alpha one, P and alpha 2p, so we know the roots of this quadratic polynomial, cf, p, x, psi, p, psi, p is either 1 or 0. Similarly for g, beta 1, so I'll be calling alpha 1 and alpha 2, beta alpha 1, p, alpha 2, p, and beta 1, p, beta 2, p for uh, g. Okay, corresponding to f and for g. And now we can define this uh, ranking silver convolution of f and g that I'll be denoting by L, S, f cross G, and uh, this is the definition, the zeta Fn, I'll just tell what is zeta Fn to S, and this is CFM, CGM by norm M to the power S, M is in OF and integral ideal, M is not zero. So this is same as zeta Fn to S, Rs F cross G, I'll just give you, so this is that zeta F to S with one factor missing the Dedekind zeta function. So zeta f, zeta f n to s is simply the Dedekind zeta function, the standard Dedekind zeta function, zeta f to s, times this factor was missing here. And R s f uh, cross g is simply this product. It's just a short form that we're writing it. CFM CGN by nm to the power s. So we started with two, uh, two uh, primitive cusp forms, but, uh, yet, uh, and then we have did, written down those uh, that ranking silver convolution of f and g. So we can uh, so let's first look at this uh, Dirichlet series L n s f cross g. L n n is that uh, you know the level that we have started with. So this is equal to all this. This this product will run over all the primes which does not divide uh, that ideal n. So one minus n of p to the power minus two s. And then you uh, take that one minus alpha i p. Remember alpha, beta, those uh, roots of that quadratic polynomial that we had associated with f and g. Alpha i p beta j p bar n p to the power minus s minus one. So this is for me l n. The first Dirichlet series that I was talking about that we'll be interested in. And the second one is l b. S F cross G. So again, uh, for P does not divide uh, that uh, starting ideal integral ideal eta one plus C F P C G P N P to the power minus S. Okay, so uh, here this can be this can be so the, here the square square tree thing is uh, going to come for us. Uh, so uh, so here we have uh, here the sum this uh, this uh, hash sign indicates that the sum is over all square free integral ideals m. So if you just write it uh, in a, a series form, then it is uh, CFM CGM by nm to the power s, but this sum is over this hash should come over here. And that indicates the sum is over the square free integral ideals m. That is of our interest. And uh, m and n are co prime. So this is the, uh, these are the two uh, Dirichlet series that will be of our interest. Now, there's this relation hold between these series. Firstly, uh, L N S F cross G is simply L S F cross G F S. I'll just write down. This is a, a convergent Dirichlet series. No harm. Uh, it's an innocuous thing. And L B S F cross G. Now, this L N S F cross G it can be written in this form. L N Little work is there that is, uh, if one is interested, can look at the paper. Ln S F cross G H S, where F S and H S 
are Dirichlet series, which are absolutely convergent uh, on that half plane. So they are nice. Okay, so this is the, uh, we, we introduced two new Dirichlet series in terms of this ranking server convolution. I wrote down the relationship that they satisfy between themselves. So now we'll be using a result of Shimura as the uh, analytic continuation of that uh, ranking silver convolution. So for that, we introduce this L infinity, the product of this gamma factors. So I'm fudging up here, J equals to one to N, and then uh, we can define this lambda S F transition is this uh, L infinity, and then L S F plus G times uh, this norm of this uh, different square ideal times N to the power S. So this is lambda s f cross g. Now this is a result of uh, Shimura, who tells you that uh, the function this lambda admits an analytic continuity to what c as an entire function if f not equals to g. If f not equals to g is just entire. Otherwise, uh, it has a meromorphic continuation to the whole plane with possible simple poles at one and at zero, and the residue at one is given by this. If f is uh, not equal to uh, uh, f is equal to g, then you have this uh, residue at s equals to one. So it, it it involves the regulator here, and you have this Dedekind zeta function, the special value at two, and then uh, this is uh, the totally positive one inside the square of the units, and this is the Peterson inner product. What we have for uh, this uh, uh, response there is a group of units. Okay, so this is a result of Shimura, which tells you, and it gives you the residuals at one, that it is uh, nice, mostly. So this is a fundamental result to prove, what, uh, prove the theorem that I was stating, uh, the time is just uh, flying. So uh, 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 f and g are primitive, and then for any c between half and one, for every epsilon bigger than zero, the following holds. As you understand, we want to uh, show that, uh, you know, the uh, square free, uh, how many such coefficients you have to check the square free so that uh, the form is non zero. So if F equals to Z, then uh, the CFM that has is again the same thing that, you know, square free uh, ideals is running over. And CFM square, this F is a smooth uh, 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 cutoff functions, which usually you use it NM over X. This constant comes out here, and then a f f x plus we go of this uh, error term is there. And if this is f f equals to g, and if f is not equals to g, then we have uh, c f m c g m because f is not equal to g, and f of n m over x is bounded by this. And here, uh, uh, this a f f the constant comes up here when f is equal to g is uh, can be estimated and it is uh, bigger than bigger than uh, this uh, uh, k naught nn to the power minus epsilon k naught is the max okay so this is the main uh, result so the idea behind the proof uh, this is the main result is uh, the Mellin inversion formula which will be kind of relating uh, this uh, uh, Dirichlet series and the question that uh, we are interested in let's consider this integral i which is uh, over this one to two, I'll be taking it to line real s equals to two. And I take LB, that particular uh, L function that I had introduced, x to the power s, this is the, uh, you know, Mellin uh, transform of f s ds. And now once we sub the value of uh, LB s f cross e, and use some more this, uh, you know, this uh, absolute convergence of certain infinite series, we can easily write down one way. So we want to calculate this integral in two ways. One is just directly subbing in the value of LBS F cross G and uh, using MF. And then we can get this uh, thing CFM, CGM, FNM over X very easily. Okay, so this is this is what we are interested in this. You see uh, the sum is over all the square free things. And the other way, what we will be using uh, the relationship between LBS and LNS and LS F cross G. And then we'll equate that one and that will give us the result. So uh, the, it can be related, uh, which is uh, uh, for that we have to choose the contour uh, uh, around two properly so that uh, you know we have these horizontal integrals, we have the vertical integrals, we have to calculate this integral by subbing in the relationship that we had 
and then uh, one can show that the horizontal integrals vanish. And then uh, by using Cauchy's uh, integral formula and this rankin selberg result that uh, Shimura I had shown, one can calculate the integral, then equate with this one, that will give the result. That's the idea. So this is the contour that we choose uh, around two, and uh, uh, the line segments are this. And then uh, we have to, once we sub in the, the relationship, as I told you, from LB to LN, and LN has direct relationship with this F cross G, that uh, rankin selberg convolution, put these values here, and uh, then using Cauchy's integral formula and uh, that Simura result that I was putting, one can calculate this integral. The horizontal uh, integrals, there will be uh, three things that you have to calculate. So the, the horizontal integrals, that's a little bit of work is there to show that uh, that vanish. And then the other, you can use Cauchy's integral formula and calculate uh, this integral. And then, uh, so this is either one or zero, depending on whether f is equal to g or f not equals to z, because there's a pole or not no pole. And uh, uh, this can be, this residue can be calculated by using, as I told you, that uh, the, uh, the rankin silver thing. And there is this result of Hofstein and Lockhart, which helps you to calculate this residue we, at s equals to one. And that turns out to be that a FF will come out with k naught nn to the power minus epsilon. And then once you put this 